Hello again, my friends. Some words about the MX Splurger. Well, it's a combined split and merge unit where you can connect your cables and the unit will automatically configure your inputs and outputs to make splitters, mergers or splurgers. That is, you can have several inputs and several outputs working on the same CV signal. So let me just show you how these um, cables are connected into, let's call it splurgers or clusters or whatever. You need to start with one cable and uh, as soon as you uh, connect a new cable, which is um, neighboring one existing cable, there will be a, an internal connection between these two. To get a working cluster, that you of course need both inputs and outputs. So, what will happen is that when you get neighboring cables on the inside and outside, uh, there will be a bridge between the input and output sides. You can connect as many inputs as you like and as many output cables as you like to the same cluster. So, of course, maximum 24 inputs and 24 outputs. The funny thing here is that uh, if you connect a, a number of inputs to one output, well, you have a merger and um, if you leave one socket open and then you connect a new cable you will start up a new cluster so to speak so um, for each cluster you create by connecting separate cables neighboring each other you will get a merger a splitter or a splurger depending on how you connect your cables. This way you can um, configure the splurger to any configuration you like, just by connecting cables. Let me show you some examples. If you, for instance, connect uh, one cable on the input side and uh, one cable on the output, you will get a bridge between the two. This is actually no, no merger, no splitter, it's only a connection from the in to the out. As soon as you connect a new cable beside any of the existing cables, you will get this one connected too. This is valid for both inputs and outputs. This first one here is a 2 to 1 merger. You have two inputs and one output and you get a bridge. This is visible by the LEDs lighting up so you can immediately see what configuration you get by connecting a cable. Visible from both back panel and front panel. Connect one more cable and you have a 3 to 1 merger. The same thing goes with the outputs. Let's create a new cluster here. I start by connecting a cable to an input. I add a cable to the output. And by leaving at least one socket open between this new setup and the previous merger we connected, we'll start up a new splurger cluster. This time I add cables on the out connections and you will see that um, we have a, a splitter one input and two outputs to start with connect one more and we have a one to three splitter and you can even connect outputs to the left of the input so this is a one to four splitter and uh, for a final example, let's uh, create a splurger. Four inputs and four outputs. So the four inputs will be merged. The CV level on each input will be added to the others. 
and the sum will be transported on the bridge to the output side. So, there we have a 4 to 4 splurger. So, what are the knobs? The knobs on the splurger are adjustments of the level. They work on both inside and outside. So, when you have a merger, the knobs will mainly uh, adjust the input level of each cable. And when you have a splitter, the knobs will adjust the output levels. When you have a splurger, the knob will uh, adjust both input and output levels. Well, that mainly rounds up the functionality of the splurger. You can experiment with the levels and of course these are more or less like uh, trim knobs on a socket, although you can remote control them. So mainly meant for adjusting the level to your needs and then leaving it where it is. And uh, notice that for the channel which gets the bridge LED lit, the knob will affect the level of both inside and outside. The level adjustment goes from uh, minus 2 to plus 2. So it's quite possible to invert a signal. However, you cannot invert a signal when you only have one input and one output. Because, as I said earlier, the knob will affect both the input and the output. And if you turn the knob to the negative side, well, you will invert both the input and the output, and again, you will get a positive output. So in this case, you need to use two outputs from the same input. Then you can turn the additional output to an inverted level. As I'm sure you've noticed already, the Matchmaker and the MX Splurger make a nice uh, frame around anything that is between them. And since uh, all your cables for connecting to the external world from the module point of view, you can simply fold the internal devices and uh, only leave the matchmaker and the bottom MX splurger open. So you have a nice CV module ready to copy to any place where you need this functionality. So, now you know about the MX Splurger.